Welcome to this video, Chris M. Who is that? New account. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, D4, novelty. He takes no. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, D6, I go knight F3. I don't like C4, E5 for white that much. So, I'm going with knight F3. And c4. Yeah, it's very likely to transpose into some king's Indian. Yeah, or this one. It's also possible. How is he going to play it? Knight bd7. Um, <laughs> yeah, here yeah, I might be tempted to play e4. After knight bd7, there's not much that he can do in terms of. Uh, wait, let's let's not be too quick here d5 knight c5 slightly awkward nah, not really <laughs> but i can do this first i mean i don't really fear that he takes on d4 just play bishop e2 and um, break the pin now after future d5 knight c5 i can go um bishop uh, knight d2 if i want so let's develop and now i'm really ready for d5 if i really want to play that move yeah okay d5 or not interesting question i'm going for it i always like to have the space however you can certainly argue that um giving or releasing this tension um, might not be the the best possible continuation. That's certainly certainly uh, an argument you can make. <clears throat> okay, I'm playing g3 to have f4 in case of bishop g5. Queen d2 was a decent alternative to prevent that easy trade of the bishop. It is not. Um, just that this is technically the bad bishop that uh, that e7 bishop it's also that that um, black is having um, a little bit of a he's, he's suffering from lack of space and um, I don't want to trade that much bishop h6 hmm interesting interesting decision so taking on e5 is not really great i guess mm. Mm. i can't play that fe bishop e3 queen e3 knight e5 knight e5 queen e5 rook f5 queen d4 looks strange mm. it looks like it will lose a pawn in the long run so if he and if he goes back, I go e5. It's not such a bad continuation. There's also f5, which trades the bishop but grabs lots of space. Mm. Yeah, it's not an easy decision. Both uh, continuations, Check. Um, both continuations are probably good for some advantage. Yeah, here I'm simply planning king h1 g4 g5 full scale expansion on the king side yeah so what i have to check here if he's um able to get something quick i don't think so b5 i can probably just take at um shouldn't be enough counterplay for the pawn yeah that is an interesting reply i was thinking about this and after g5 there's possibly knight um knight h5 knight g4 is not a good idea but knight h5 is interesting so i'm going to going to cover that the knight coming to f6 is also an indication that he's not supporting this with knight c7 and b5. Oh, now he just drops that pawn. Hmm, interesting. Okay, it will be a bit murky, but 
that's never going to be enough objectively don't think so rook a4 i go back to c3 and rook somewhere i go a4 yeah that's not enough compensation really shouldn't be however of course here i would prefer to not have my king side weakened like that but um yeah you can't can't have it all oh yeah okay that's an interesting move but i can go b4 here right b4 knight b6 knight c3 back yeah Yeah, okay, he's um, getting into desperation mode, but um, understandably so. It gets um, it gets gets tricky, of course. So, what is his idea? Knight b six or something like that? No, I can go rook a six. No, then queen b seven. And okay, one. Okay, so this should be okay. Queen b7, rook a1, rook b4, rook a7. I don't believe in that. That looks far too shaky. Yeah, probably you should take before, unless there's a clear refutation that I'm not seeing. Queen c3 maybe. Let's do this. Rook b5, knight. Whoa, what is this? Okay. So rook a8 is not possible. What is the point even here? The check or what exactly? Queen b6, queen f2, I don't, uh, don't get it. Threatening rook a8, so. Check. Check. Um, okay. Time There's warning. Some way Check. to get to do this with counterplay, like with with a mating attack. It's what I'm trying to say. Oops. <laughs> too many books. Um, uh, G five is dropping too much stuff. So let's go here. That's actually threatening a funny mate. G5 and G6 check. A funny checkmate. Uh, probably he will prevent it somehow. I don't see exactly how, but <laughs> there's probably some way to do it. G5 check, king h7, g6 check, takes, knight g5 check, king h6, knight f7 check, king h7, rook h8 mate. That's a threat. Check. Um, okay. Check. Wow. Okay, but now it's uh, even a time time problem. Check. 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 Checkmate. 
Okay, so let's do a recap of that game. Yeah, I think um, around here, white must have something with the space, but black has traded some some pieces, so it's not um, it's not terrible, I believe, for him. Now a six, g four, and he went back here. I was um, I was expecting something like this to try to pre pre prepare a b five. I mean, honestly, I'm not quite sure if it is great, but. Yeah, I mean, white. I'm quick here with with my, sorry with my expansion. Maybe now this this night. Yeah, one one way to play is, is always like this. It's also interesting trying to prove that this is sidelined. Here, knight f four is never really an option because if we just uh, let, let's assume he plays that. Here he just has no compensation because I will get an e5 quite easily. Uh, or he plays f6, which is also quite bad. In the game, however, that was diff different. Here, 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 the move knight f4, I mean not here probably, but in general, is different because here he might get this blockading square. This is why I was reluctant to push to push g5. It's maybe not bad, but it, yeah, I, I prefer to play it like this. And now we lash out. I really think it's not enough. Yeah, the engine gives plus one. It shouldn't be enough, really. It's always, from a practical point of view, a bit a bit tricky. But yeah, now before that, that should be probably winning. Yeah, yeah it's plus plus two according to the comp. Yeah, rook a four is a bit uh, a bit of a desperate move. But what I'm threatening here is simply to play something like rook b one knight back a5 and just push this stuff home. I mean, he's got no counterplay. So I understand that he wanted to do something, but there's probably not really much going on here. Yeah, and now he went with this knight d5, which is not really working, but I was thinking he, he should play rook b5 and uh, go from there. I wasn't completely sure what to play. I was thinking that this is an idea. But I uh, hear he can actually play this. Okay. So this this wouldn't have been great. This this is probably running into a, a pin, yeah. That was also not great. So here I'm I'm not quite sure. The engine gives this move, which is yeah, as usual with the computer move, pretty strong. Because here white retains control. I retain control over C3, so the pawn is not pushed. Or cannot be pushed, threatening this and queen a7. So and the queen trade would, would win this very easily. Yeah, that's rather convincing. The way it went in the game, I think he had no compensation. Um, what was cute was one thing. Check. Check. And, uh, like here. Check. Let's check. That uh, that checkmate was funny. Oh, I can checkmate him with rook h8. As that was silly. <laughs> I can just check him, checkmate. Check. Him. I'm sorry, knight e4. Checkmate. Like this. Oh, that was silly. And I was just seeing this because I spotted that mating idea. But uh, yeah, you know, here, if he goes um, knight f3, if he does something like that, okay, rook h8 immediately. Um, stupid. <laughs> yeah, my my idea was <laughs> Check. was far Check. more elaborate. Check. Check. Was this this checkmate. I saw this checkmate. It's pretty typical. I see a checkmate in five, but not a checkmate in one. Check. Anyway, yeah, but Check. here there's nothing nothing really happening. Okay, well, thanks for watching.